The subject tonight is love, and tomorrow night as well. A matter of fact, I know no better topic for us all to discuss until we die. Hafiz. What I'm here talking about today is being love. That in the world and in the education or the lack of education around love that we've all experienced in our lives, we mostly relate to love is found in the world outside of ourself. We relate to we, we need to find the right partner, the right home, the right job, and in, or on vacation or on the weekend, we're going to find fulfillment. We're going to find love. And what has come reoccurring into my, into my consciousness time and time again throughout my life is be love. Remember, it's right here. It's an eternal source within us. And it, my logical mind me says, what are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense. My whole life I've wanted to be an artist. I've wanted to be a painter. I've wanted to be a musician so that I could walk out in the world and say, this is who I am. This is on my card, this is what you can count on. And that just hasn't been my story. What keeps on recurring is that your life, what keeps on coming into my mind, and I feel sometimes crazy, your life is about being love. And I'm like, what does that mean, being love? I worked in a restaurant, I, I run Cafe Gratitude, and people would come up to me and be like, you know, what are you up to? What projects are you working on? What's, what's new, what's happening? And the only thing that was authentically coming through was, what's up is, right here, right now, this presence of love that is available for us to experience. And people would be looking at me like, you have lost your mind. <laughs> but really, if we think about it, we go to school to become architects and builders all in search for something. We want to create, we want to do something to create an experience, and that experience is the presence of love. That's what we're all looking for. That is the search, but yet the search is over. Love is right here, right now. When I asked my wife to marry me, I asked her, I came out of a meditation, and I had no plans to marry my wife. I, at that point, I had no plans to ask her to marry me. And I was in this meditation, and what came through was, the search is over, love is an inside job, and you give it away. It's not something that you find. And when I had that instantaneous revelation, I knew if I loved, if, if love was present with my wife, we liked the same, you know, toothpaste, we had the same diet, like those logistical things were handled. <laughs> I thought, well, if I love her now, I can love her forever because it's my choice. And I got love would never be something that she would give to me. It would be something I would give and we would share together. And that was two and a half years ago. And that's still my experience. My experience is that when there's something missing in that relationship, I find it within myself, I be it, and then I experience it. That we actually be to become. And that's counterintuitive because the world mostly tells us that we have to get our circumstances right, we have to get the right things in alignment so that we can then accomplish something. And you know, I'll just tell you a little bit about me. I, I read at a third grade level. I was learning disabled. I was in the resource room. I didn't, it didn't look like I was going to be able to be a success in the world. But now I run a massively, you know, Los Angeles, we, have, we opened two Cafe Gratitudes in Los Angeles. Massively successful. Just got a call from the Hollywood Reporter saying that Ho Cafe Gratitude is one of the top 25 mo power lunch spots in Los Angeles, which is a miracle. And the neat thing is, I'm not a good business person. 
I, 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 I can't look at an Excel spreadsheet. I, but what I do know is I've connected with my mission. And my mission is emanating the presence of my love. Because just like, just like Amma, the, the hugging saint, she hugs people and foundations, orphanages, things get built in their wake. And that, that's been the, the miraculous thing for me to get, that I actually don't have to do those things, that those things gather around me and support me in my mission. I met this guy, Frank Ferrante. Walked into Cafe Gratitude, depressed, given up on life, 300 pounds, and I asked him the question of the day. If you know at Cafe Gratitude, you've ever been, we have a question of the day. And that question is all about inviting people into a conversation of giving thanks. And the question of the day is, what's one thing you want to do before you die? And he looked at me and he authentically said, I want to fall in love one more time before I die, and I don't think anyone will ever love me because I don't love myself. And that called me into action like nothing had ever called me into action before. And I was, again, 21 years old, never made a film, was uh, literally a server at Cafe Gratitude. And my heart knew that my love could make a difference in this man's life. And so I said, yes, I, what, you want to try something? You want to do an experiment? You allow me and my, my cohorts at Cafe Gratitude to guide you through 42 days of transformation through food, through community, through unconditional love, and you surrender your life to us, and we'll see what happens. We didn't have a video camera. We, did, we, we literally went to the hardware store and made a boom mic out of PVC pipe, and you know, we, we had nothing. But what we had was we knew that our love was able to be expressed to this human being, and that, that, was, all, that was right the now moment was the possibility of being the presence of love. Seven years, fast forward, film is done. Alanis Morissette gave us a song. Jason Mraz wrote us a song. This film has been you know, all over the country. And again, it wasn't because we had any particular skill. It was because we were committed to our mission. And our mission was, can we elicit, awaken the presence of love in this man's life? Now that man has lost 100 and over 120 pounds. He lives in Los Angeles. He's now speaking. He's actually, I just came back from New Zealand on a tour speaking where he's now sharing with other people about the possibility of transformation. And this was a man who walked into Cafe Gratitude, suicidal, given up on life, all relationships in shambles, health in shambles, you know, disease, just completely. And again, um, for me, the, the miracle that I just get to keep on waking up to, and you know, the, the, in the poem, the poem says, let's be authentic. So the authentic for me is, I drove 12 hours to talk about love for 10 minutes, because I'm a fool for love. <laughs> that, my life is a devotion to, can everywhere I go and everything can, that I do, can I awaken the presence of love? Because at, at certain points during the day, I remember that's, that's what we're all looking for. That is the beginning and the end. And so I just thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. And uh, have a, an amazing, amazing day. Love, Khan.